Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will be just doing the alcohol ink background with Arabic calligraphy on top of it. So I have taken a 16 by 24 inch rectangular canvas and I will be just applying this acrylic medium which is known as gesso because I feel that it is really important to um, just fill in the spots the spaces in the canvas cloth and make it like non-porous because the surface of the canvas is quite porous and the alcohol and the inks can actually absorb in it so we have to just decrease the absorbency power of the canvas so i'm just applying it with a palette knife over here and later on i'll be using my brush for this it is so important to add two to three layers of gesso and after two to three layers it's kind of like a tough surface and obviously non-porous so i'm using my 1.5 inch base brush to blend it all in you can even use a bigger or smaller one depending on your ease so after doing the first layer uh, this is how it looks like it still needs a lot of layers actually two to three i think so i'm just using my heat gun to dry it faster so i can add the second layer you can also use a blow dryer okay so after three layers my canvas is looking so perfect you can look over here it's completely dried now we have to use the respirator mask of course when we are just working with the isopropyl alcohol i'm using 98.5 percent and as always i'm just pouring my alcohol in a disposable cup which is so easy for me to work with so i wanted to try out a different color of alcohol ink this time so i've selected this olive green from marabu marabu is one of my favorite brands in alcohol inks so i will be adding the isopropyl alcohol directly onto the canvas and we'll be adding some droplets of the ink on top of it and giving the ink a medium to float on Okay, so it is really important to use the lowest speed of your heat gun because um, when you use the lowest speed, it will allow you to work on the textures, lines, and the alcohol is not going to evaporate like in a second as compared to if you use the highest speed. Alcohol ink, um, whenever we are working with alcohol inks, there is no rule to follow. Um, other than the process like adding the gesso and everything like that but whenever you are just working you have started working with your heat gun and your alcohol and inks so you just have to think freely because uh, if you if you're just following this tutorial it doesn't matter you will end up making same as mine you will end up making a different version of your artwork and it will be a masterpiece for you so just just enjoy the process and do your best and i'm sure i'm so sure that you will end up creating a beautiful masterpiece also i did not speed up the video especially in the process of alcohol inks because i wanted to show you guys the real-time version of this process how it works how you can manage the flow so just enjoy the process
Okay, so over here on this pot, I wanted to keep it light as compared to the bottom part. So I'm just adding the isopropyl alcohol and using a napkin to wipe off any excess um, strokes of the ink over here. Because I had a perspective in mind what I have to follow, that this pot should be light and the bottom pot should be a little bit dark as compared to this. So this is the final look of the background, it's completely dried and ready to get the motif transferred on. So I've transferred it, this motif and if you don't know how to transfer a motif on a canvas, I have made a specific video on this purpose. I will uh, leave the link in the description box below so you have to check that out. So I had multiple options of um, the mediums to work on the calligraphy, some metal leaf and a gold paint. So I decided that it's been a long time since I used some um, pearlesque paint. So I'm just using this gold paint from Mary's this time and let's hope it turns out pretty well. I kind of like this color so I will be just continuing with that
so this is the final look of our masterpiece and I'm pretty happy with how it, how it turned out and I hope uh, that you will like this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up see you next time bye bye